Hey guys, it's not a Q, this is a shaft. This is a Q-Tech Synergy shaft that I'm going to unbox because it's really exciting. Got some neat cut tape and unbox it. And I guess maybe there's some people that have never bought one of these new and might be interested in the packaging. And what comes in the package when they're new? We'll see. This is some kind of fiberglass tape that's pretty strong shit. So, what I have on the table here, well, I have my carbon fiber shafts. My history of the carbon fiber shafts is that several years ago, I bought this one. This is the Q-Tex Energy shaft. First carbon fiber shaft ever hit a ball with. Best shaft ever hit a ball with. It's just on a player's butt is all it is. And then I've got some, some Peach Eye Rogues here. This is a Peach Eye Rogue. Uh, this is a Peach Eye Rogue. This is actually a, another Q-Tech Synergy on my Pierce. But what I noticed the other day when I was inventorying all this stuff is I don't have a Q-Tech Synergy with a 5 16th 14 joint. And I have an awful lot of 5 16th 14 jointed cues. This bottle, this Pierce, for example, is a 3 8 10. The Peach Hours actually is a 5 16 14, but it's got, ugh, it's got this synergy or this uh, Peach Hour speed joint junk going on in it. I don't know if you, you can see that. Which basically means this one will go on a regular 5, 16, 14 Q. It's proprietary or whatever. I guess it is, it is faster, so it's technically a speed joint. But anyway, I wanted something that I could potentially put on, like one of my Shans or one of my Josses. Or even uh, one of my Pichars has the 5, 16, 14. Just one of the options. I really like love actually the way the carbon fiber cues hit never been able to get past the color but it's becoming easier and easier to do these days you you, you go to any tournament hell even any league match and it, it's like a sea of black shafts out there it's not nearly unusual anymore i've said in videos that you know for 40 years at least any non-wood shaft on a pool cue was a joke. People laughed at them. They sucked. You know, I'm talking about the aluminum ones, the fiberglass ones, stuff like that. They were just a joke. They're not a joke anymore. They're damn good shafts. And a lot of, maybe even most, top players are playing with carbon fiber these days. And, of course, some of them are sponsored by it, but I still kind of maintain that they wouldn't play with something if they couldn't make a ball with it, whether they were sponsored or not. So this is the this is the packaging. This is the the Qtech Synergy. It's an eleven point eight. I wanted a, a whatever the next size up is a twelve point eight or a twelve point five. Out of stock, of course. That everybody's always out of stock. If I want it, twenty nine inch. It says. Uh, it says super straight precision taper. So that, those are both good things to have in a queue. I'm glad it didn't say pretzel shaped or something. Shaped like a question mark. It doesn't say on the box that I can see that it's a 516-14. So we'll just cross our fingers on that. My plan is to put this cue at least temporarily, to put this shaft at least temporarily on my Rundy Sean. My Rundy Sean has a low deflection shaft on already, or it did until 10 minutes ago. One of these Jacoby Edge things. This is my B shaft. I've talked about before. This is my main shaft for almost a decade. So I just kind of want the option. I want to see if I can get over myself. You know, maybe maybe I'll shoot with it for a while. Of course, I got the video camera. 
and I can watch myself shoot, maybe get a little bit more used to seeing myself with the with the black shaft and not wanting to beat myself up over it. So there's that, that was fun. Box is also taped. The lid is also, I thought it was just hinged actually. So now I gotta go back to the razor blade. And cut that open and do it on the other side. This does appear to be different packaging than what I got my first synergy in. When I got my first one in, the whole box kind of opened up like a like a piano hinge type of a setup. So there may be completely different shit in here. Don't know. Inside the let me turn on this light on the camera. Inside this, that, that light's not really doing any good, is it? So, inside a red baggie, I certainly hope that's the shaft. But let's see what else is in here. Let's see what else is in here. If anything else is in here. The little thing you hear says, pull, right there. So I'm going to pull. Pull. And that might be all. Well, there's two openings in the case here. Maybe you get two shafts, you can get two shafts. And it, I think I have to assume this box is empty now. But pretty darn well protected box. I would, I would not hesitate to, if I had to ship a queue off to somebody to get repaired or something, shoving it in here. This is all like felt line and all this and that. I wouldn't hesitate at all. I had it sturdy. But this is what anybody's still awake. Is they say that we can watch this or see this. So this is the shaft. It does come with a joint protector. That's cool. I didn't know it was going to do that. I got this from, well, I've always called them Sieverts. Sieverts. But here lately, see, Sieverts. Oops. Here lately, they've, uh, they've been mentioned on one of the YouTube shows that I watch. And they keep pronouncing it Cyberts. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, but I, and maybe troll of a dog to learn the new trick. Look, this is an eleven point eight. This is too skinny, but shafts these days are skinny. They, that's what the kids like these days is the really skinny shafts. That's got a sniper tip on it, which I believe is a softer tip. It hasn't bothered me too much on that other one, on my Pierce. It's the same kind of tip. It hasn't bothered me too much, but I haven't played with it enough to see if it's consistent or not. That's been my, my problem with the soft tip, is generally they're, they're not consistent for me. It'll get a little bit harder on one side than it is on the other as you just shoot with different English and stuff, and different things can happen depending on where you just happen to hit the cue ball. And I don't like inconsistencies. Maybe this is a Seabirch or Cybirch, whatever, joint protector. Doesn't seem to say anything about being Q-Tech or anything like that. But that's nice when to do that. On this guy, it says 11.8, 5, 16, 14, which is cool, because that's what I wanted. And it's got a serial number. And it says Q-Tech. I'd show the camera, but... It's like just barely, you can, it's barely visible. And then the weight of the thing is three point seven eight one ounces. That's it's got the five sixteen fourteen to fit into it, you know, a piloted type of situation. Um, I'm going to try this also on my Shrugs. See if I can explain why. Once I make sure this, this works. Ooh, I will be used to warning this didn't work. 
or if it mismatched terribly in the radius. And it, it doesn't. It's it's fine. It, I mean, I'm always gonna I'm always gonna think that it looks stupid just being black. And also, there's no silver ring. And I did look for a silver ring carbon fiber set. And if one exists, it's not on the internet. The reason I'm gonna try this on my scrubs is you see, I don't know what this extrusion on the shaft is called. Or, but it goes it goes into as soon as I get this unscrewed, this recess in the butt. On the scrugs, that recess is narrower. So for example, I have shafts that will fit my Sean's, but they won't fit my scrugs, even though it's the same 5, 16, 14 joint. So I'm just gonna just try that, just because I'm curious. No, it will not. So this shaft won't go on the scrubs because that recess portion is too too narrow, I guess. It will show up on the camera. It might. If you can't tell by looking at the size of the recess, so this is the Rundy on on the, the camera's right, camera's left, and then the scrubs. If you can't tell by looking at the size of the recess, Look at the thickness of the silver around it. And this has a much thicker silver walls, which means the recess is skinnier or smaller because the diameter of the things are the same. Anyway, I was just curious about that. It's not, that's absolutely not a deal breaker or whatever. I never plan on putting this on my scrubs anyway. That, that kind of seems like blasphemy. Almost like if I. You know, I'm never going to order one of these in 3 8 by 11 and put it on my Southwest, for example. No. They'd be showing up in my yard with torches and pitchforks if I did that a bit. But, so, you know, that's this. I'm just going to play with this setup for a while. To see if I can stand it. You know, I have been playing with the Pierce for the last couple of days. And... Again, I'm reminded of how well I like the way the carbon fibers play. Can I get used to it, the looks? Do I, do I feel like, you know, I've, I've muddied a Rundy Sean by sticking this on it without the silver ring and, and not a, a wood shaft? Do I feel like I've uh, defaced it somehow? Part of me does, but I'm trying to maybe get over it. Hey guys. I totally forgot about this thing that I pulled out of the case. So, this is probably going to be some cleaning wipes. That what was in the original box, you know, for the other one I bought. So, it says pull here. But what I didn't notice was it says push here. So, I tried this very briefly. And I'm sure I'm going to do something wrong. So, I pulled the tab off. Remember I said a couple seconds ago I was going to do something wrong? Probably not supposed to do that. I don't, I'm going to end up just ripping this open is what's going to happen. Because that tab was probably important. I'm pushing. I really am. What? A world-class hunk of junk. This is so far. This part, I mean. I'm sure the shaft is great. But this is a world-class hunk of junk. Whoever designed this part should be fired. I'm still trying. I'm just trying to freaking get to anything in here. All right. So this is how people of my generation solve problems like this. Is we 
just rip things open. That was right inside, inside this stupid thing is a bunch of these Q-Cut Tech cleaning wipe things. It's probably just alcohol wipes or something. Don't know, don't really care. I would imagine you could clean it with just about anything. And there are a bunch of those. It does make me slightly nervous that there are eight of them. Do they really think we're going to need eight? And, and I also wonder, ingredients, water, ethyl alcohol, non-woven fabric. It also makes you wonder if, hey, I should say, hey, I used all these, I need to buy some more. Are they $500 a piece or something? No, I'm not gonna pay that much. Comes with a Q-Tex Synergy patch. And I don't wear the patches. I just put things like that in front of my light. I have a bunch of those. And I guess it comes with an instruction, but this is probably just a catalog. No, it's got, this is stupid. It's got a maintenance log. Yeah, because I would never lose this. It's got the first page. This talks a little bit about the about the shaft and the construction of it. That's interesting. I'll read that. Caring for your shaft. This is probably not focusing on the camera, but just in case it is, you guys can pause and read that. I'm not going to read it to you. It's not story time, people. Sorry. And then it's just got some pages like this for <laughs> stupid stuff. Repair work and stuff. This is this is silly, but I'm going to read the first couple pages. This was beyond silly, way beyond silly. Hitty cat toy. Now I can stop this thing uh, for real. I was just going to take this red thing, which could be useful. I'm, I'm I was picturing like to put like my jump cue shaft in this. If whatever case I was using didn't have a place for it, at least I could protect it somehow. If I was going to take it someplace that allowed a you know, jump cue and I wanted to take it. So I'm just going to cram this in here and leave a little bit where I can get to it. Put the lid back on. It's a good sturdy box. I do like the box. I didn't like the inner part of the box, but we can't be happy all the time. 